Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I've been doing some thinking. Uh, it might be called termed uh, old light worker um, considerations. And, um, and it goes something like this. A lot of us have been invested for many incarnations in light worker path show way shower pathfinder work yes so we may have ingrained in our souls a consciousness of uplifting and helping other people Some of us are spiritual counselors or psychological counselors or healers and artists whose work helps to uplift the awareness of humanity, right? Now, now here we are at a turning point in the history of the world. And everything has changed. And we humans, light workers, and all humans, find ourselves in a space so different that we don't even recognize where we are. And so, what does our mind do? when it sees nothing familiar. It recreates for us scenarios of what was once familiar. So, for the Zen Buddhist whose, whose light worker mission is to uplift suffering humanity with compassion, that Zen Buddhist will continue to see in the, current, in the current void, in the current space where all is possible, the possibility that will manifest for that Zen Buddhist is a world of suffering that they can uplift through compassion. And so to carry this a little farther, for the person who's, whose job is, say, the medical profession of healing, alternate medicine or traditional medicine, in this space of the void, this space of limitless possibilities where we are now, this place where we can co-create any reality that we wish to create, what would such a person create? A reality where there are people to be healed physically. And for the psychologist and psychoanalyst who are used to helping people with emotional balance and, and mental balance, who are used to uplifting humanity in that way, what would their minds create now in this place of the void, in this place of all possibilities? Who would create a world with many people whom they could assist and uplift emotionally and mentally. Is that not true? And for the artist who is used to creating pictures that show the, the injustices of the world, the, the, the things in the world that need to be changed and and um, made more beautiful. That kind of person who's used to social consciousness, what would they create in the world? They would create pictures of things that are not perfectly beautiful. So, it's the same for, for folks who who work for, for social justice and social change. 
those folks, could they envision in this, in this time of new creation, could they envision a world in which there's no need of social change? No, because the alternative is far too uncomfortable. The alternative is far too transformational. The alternative is full of lack of knowingness, a lack of understanding based on what has gone before. Is that not so? And so, for the, um, for the Buddhist and for the medical doctor and for the psychologist and psychoanalyst, for the artist and the worker for social justice, and for light workers who take whatever paths to the to their own soul purpose, I ask you to stand aside now. Stand aside from that which has gone before. And experience this sensation of not knowing, this sensation of the unknown, this feeling of the void that's available to us now. And from that ground of not knowing, that ground of pure being, let us ask spirit for the greatest co-creative possibility we can manifest in our lives today. Not that which has gone before, not the suffering, not the lack of physical health, not the lack of emotional or mental balance, not the great injustices that were once known in this world, but new life, a new life of harmony for all beings, a new life of balance for planet Earth. 